Hey everybody, it's me and I'm back from the dead. This is unbelievable. My tour solo is on pause because the Impractical Jokers national tour has started the arena tour. Tickets are on sale for the first leg of it right now at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. We're coming to Reading, Pennsylvania. We're coming to uh, Stony Brook. We're coming to Pittsburgh, Camden, New Jersey, Boston. We're coming to Charleston, South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, Waterloo, New York, uh, Washington, D.C., Niagara Falls. Falls, Newark, Wallingford, Belmont Park. We're playing that UBS arena and the Prudential Arena in Jersey. Go Islander. God, Milwaukee, Rosemont, Seattle, Portland. I mean, guys, Utah, Denver, Arlington, Austin, Sugarland, Columbus, Cleveland, Detroit, Minneapolis, Des Moines, Kansas City. I'm getting tired. Nashville, Indianapolis, and St. Louis. That's just what's announced right now. And it's all on sale right now. We're revving up right now. The show's going to be a blast. We haven't been out in years. Hope to see you there in practicaljokerslive.com. What's up, babe? I got a brand new hour of stand-up material. Go to chrisdcomedy.com for Tiki Wikis. January 12th in New Orleans. January 13th in Dallas is sold out. January 14th in Houston is almost sold out or might be sold out. And then January 26th to the 28th, Phoenix, Arizona. Brand new hour of stand-up. Come check it. Hey, babe, little bit of dressing. Hey, babe, little bit of flexing. Hey, babe, little bit of dressing. Hey, babe, little bit of flexing. I went to the store for some chocolate flavored milk. Came home with a thick chocolate covered milk. Hey, 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 babe. Hey, babe. So, first question How was the afterlife? Yes. So, actually, it's crazy. On <laughs> November 2nd, you died. On November 2nd at 1 18 p.m., I passed away. Right, uh, it, it, yeah. was, I, it was. They didn't know what it was at first till the autopsy. You're right. Uh, they did the autopsy. Uh, and what, what what happened? Oh, turned there. out. Turned out old age. Wow. It was just natural causes. Okay. Natural causes. It was nothing specific. Yeah. And so that began what became an eight week intensive Death. research study. Right. While I was passed. Right. On how to bring me back from old age, and I'm happy to say. That I don't know what happened in the last eight weeks. Yeah. It feels like I died yesterday, but right. this morning, right. they brought me back up. And the first thing I did was text you guys and you said we can do an episode today. Yeah. And so I came here. Yeah. But I, just so uh, you know, I feel like I'm like 18 years old again. They replaced some things. You, well, you look, as soon as you walked in, the first thing I said is that he, you look fantastic. Right. I, you don't have any dirt on you anywhere. Hold on. Birth control. Birth control. Oh, shit. I forgot my meds at home. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to die again. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, well, that's that. I mean, there's right. nothing I can do about that. So well, God bless listen, us, everyone. If, here's, the, here's the good news about this. If you die, you've been through it before. Yeah. <clears throat> you did it once. You could do it again. Because the thing was, is when you died on November 2nd at 118, yeah. we showed up to your house with aluminum foil because we were like, we're going to wrap you up. <laughs> Like right. the fish and put me in the refrigerator. <laughs> I, had the, I had the walk-in freezer. Yes. You're going to so put me we in gonna, there. That's what we were going to do. We thought it'd be great. And then we, and then, but they had buried your body already. <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy to know because we weren't sure. We weren't sure what it is, but, um, you know, we're I, just happy. We're happy you're back and you're still alive. A few things gave out at the same time is what happened. What, so right. what have I missed? What's you missed a lot of, of my first cannon. of all svelte that well thank you happy you bring that up i'd like to talk to you take a moment and talk to you about intermittent fasting yeah provided by better help oh uh, nice no i uh so what i've been doing and i know you know listen first of all for the people who are yelling at their i mean phones, i've been gone eight weeks i came or, back yeah. i noticed a difference sal's been dead so i have to take him through my spiritual journey by the way, do you know how many people that I just, I, when I got up this morning and looked at the, looked there, I looked on the internet, <laughs> do you know how many people told me I was dead? Somebody texted <laughs> me. Uh, um, um, uh, a friend of a family texted me, RIP my condolences <laughs> for your partner being dead. <laughs> no. Yeah. Dude, so many people were like, uh, are you alive? Are you, are, you, are you really, are you alive or are you dead? And they thought, we, I was keeping it under wraps. No, I thought, well, listen, we kept the secret of Sal being dead because each week I would tell them, unfortunately, Sal passed away, but he will be here next week. Okay. And we got, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what it's going to be on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, he's on the Patreon. <laughs> I it's am great. dead inside. Right. Yeah, yeah. As we all are. Um, but I, but I, I appreciate you saying I look svelte. 
I've been doing intermittent fasting where now I, I download this app called the Zero Fasting app, okay. where, which is not a sponsor and they don't want to be a sponsor. We've reached out. So, but you know, but that's how much I believe in this product, okay. even though they have app actually- Well, their competitor app brought me back to life. So maybe we go with them. There you go. That's a big exactly. Deal. Boom. So if you listen in Zero, don't be a zero. So how, what time do you eat? Like five minutes a day? So no, 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 no. So actually yesterday, like take for example, yesterday I went to a, a actually brand new French restaurant in the city. Have you heard? It's called Fouquet's. Fouquet's? Fouquet's. Like fuck it? Like, like fuck, fuck it. Fouquet. 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 Yeah. Fouquet. You're being a Fouquet. Or like <laughs> Fouquet. Or like maybe is it it's Vietnamese? Fouquet. Is it Vietnamese? No, it's French. I guess it's like you pronounce it like like you would pronounce croquette, but Fouquet. Okay, Fouquet. No. It doesn't sound appetizing. If I'm being honest. Fouquet's Brasieri, right? Bra okay. The Brasieri. Brasieri. And it's a new hotel called Fouquet's. <laughs> so, it's yeah. a hotel slash restaurant? Well, it's a brand new hotel in Tribeca. Tribeca. And, and Fouquet's. Tribex. Tribex. Yeah. Fouquet's. Fouquet's Tribex. And I actually made the reservation. Um, I, I'm sorry. The people who made the reservation uh, for us went out with uh, our neighbors. They actually, it's so complicated, the website. We actually had a 6 p.m. reservation in Paris. It was a 6 p.m. <laughs> in the four quarts in Paris. No, not true. I swear to God, we got to that. Like, we, have, we have no information. You do not have a reservation here. And then the guy's like, no, I made a reservation. He goes, he goes oh, you have a reservation in, in Paris at 6, no 6 p.m. Shit. He goes, oh, the it, is, it is midnight in Paris. I don't think you will make it. And no. we, were like, we were like in Tribeca. He's like, oh, let's see if we can find a table. And then they found a table for us. I was wait, like, fucking wait, wait, assholes. what happened in the last eight weeks that now you're going to French fine dining restaurants while I'm gone? Everything's <laughs> changed. What, I mean, what happened <laughs> to Bloom Cafe? Everything, everything, everything's yeah. changed. Yeah. You, yeah. I don't, well, that's because there's small portions French. Well, well, actually, but this place, Fouquet's, is like a French, almost like a French diner in a way. I, they would get upset if I said that because it's classy and nice, but it's like a... Um, is it like Baltazar? Uh, yes, is yes. Is it kind of like a... a, a, a yes, and I treated Fouquet's like James Gordon treated Baltazar. Okay, right. Uh, yeah. 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 Just, just went Yelling at everybody. They treated them like they were underlings. Yeah, I threw fucking egg whites at the waiter. <laughs> yes. So, this is what we heard. This is... Uh, you know, let's just make sure we say it. Allegedly. Okay. Uh, welcome back. Yeah. Um, so... Um, it did feel like Chris was absorbing some of your energy when you died. How so? Well, well, because I was going to, to French restaurants and oh, I was oh, kind of you. being you. Okay. I was because you had told me that you had went to French places and done that. So I said, if Sal's dead, <laughs> then I'm not going to let his presence die here on earth. I'm going to be Sal. And it's so, so not because not a lot of people get to come back. Yeah. You I'll know? tell you what, not since you've been dead for eight weeks, I have not let one pointed pillow point at me. Not fucking Thank once. You so much. Not man. once. Thank I you. slapped them all out of, the slapped them out of the way, got them out of the way. And I haven't done it. And so what brought you to Fouquet's? How did you find out about it? And why? And, 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 and was it a special occasion? Are you just doing things now? I just said, I'm going to live my life. Yeah. And I'm going to do things. Because I said, I see how quickly life can be taken from you. That's as what, what happened to you for the last okay. eight weeks. I'm so, I'm yeah. so glad. No, I am so glad. Really. Yeah. That, know, they buried me. Fully. That's why I said, I can't believe you have they no dirt on me. you. But, fully buried but they just someone got a google alert that they 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 found that like the cure like the cure to old to what i had they just did a, by the way by the way it was it was a, just a little bit of like ointment and a couple of stitches that's all you that's it, all it wasn't you. a big secret and uh they dug me back up and uh yeah, you know, they pumped me full of i got a transfuge yeah and uh you know I, like i said i i remember october 31st in Praia. yeah november 2nd in Praia. Well, yeah, a lot, a lot. What's really happened in the world uh, since Sal's been dead? What's Greta, the big news? Greta Thunberg has become a power player in society. Oh, yes, Greta Thunberg. Well, that was happening before me. But before now, she, yeah, but now, now it's like. <laughs> so, what happened after my passing? So, but the, well, this is more recent in his. Well, what, what, let's go back we should to the. Start at the beginning. Yeah, we're all over the place as I like it. Yeah. But again, how did you hear about Fouquet's? Okay. Let me, yeah, let me answer your, uh, let me answer your for question. Is I, is, is for Quetz, is I suggested to our neighbors who are great people, Lebanese people, okay. great Lebanese people, love Lebanon, shout out Lebanon, shout out Beirut, shout, shout, out, shout out Shwarma, Hummus, um, what Le else? Le is Lebanon Libyans? Lebanon or Lebanese. Oh, Li Libya is Libyans. Yes. Lebanese. Yeah, Lebanese. <laughs> right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But shout out <laughs> Libya as well. I, I'm still getting everything back. Yeah, you know? It's hard. You don't I was just thinking, the Libyans run for it, Marty, which you probably don't even know that reference. No, but I want to. That's Back to the Future, but it's okay. One oh, day you'll oh, understand. I love Back to the Future. Yeah. You know about Fouquet's, but you don't know about Back to the Future. I know about Back to the Future. Okay. But, but so. <laughs> so, so Lebanese, so you wanted to, did you want to seem like you were uh, worldly? I wanted to say to like, you know, let's not, I'm not going to suggest, you know, 
even though I love Bellato's, you know, it's an Italian place, great restaurant, right. but we always go there. Shout I out these, are, these are high end Lebanese people. Yeah. You want to treat them right. Right. What, and I said, and I just suggested, I just put it in the chat. I said, what about French food? Okay. What about French food? You have a chat with your Lebanese neighbors. Yes, I have a, I'm in a group chat with the Lebanese neighbors. Okay. And I said, what, what did you name it? Um, we actually haven't named it yet. Okay. We haven't named, but it's just it's just our three names. But we should actually name. How about it. Lebedee's nuts? <laughs> Clip it. Will they take offense? No, no, no. Great. Oh, great. So then do great. that. Great. And you know what's great about these neighbors is the 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 guy the 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 the, the husband he has drinks but never dr drunk. He's the designated driver always. So we can you can get oh, smashed. So you're with you're this going guy. all over town with this guy. Yes, and he always in, he has he drives. He can't be in the passenger seat, so he has to drive. Why can't he be? Religious? I think he get, gets like, you know, maybe car sick or something. Oh, car sick. So, he, he, so it, it's never like, oh, hey, maybe you drive this week. You be the DD. He always drives. Wait, wait, hold on a second. You're acting, you, you, the way you're speaking sounds like this is how, you've hung out with them many times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. We've done French food with them last night. We did um, Italian food with them. We've went to um, we went to a um, uh, 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 what else did we go? We did French food. We did it. Um, we did Italian food twice. We went to the place in Staten Island, um, Venom. Oh yeah, but I couldn't. I like that place, but they serve rabbit, and I can't do exotic meats like that. No, I don't. I can't do it. No, I'll never have a rabbit. I can't eat a rabbit. I wouldn't even eat a duck. Someone tried to get me to eat a duck yesterday. Not gonna do. It. Well, that's all they serve in, in the French restaurants is duck. All they want to give you is duck and snails. I mean, and I'm like, I'd like. I don't want duck and snails right now. They're quackers. Quackers. So, so duck and snail. Ugh. So I I eat duck before snail maybe yeah escargot is an escar like, no yeah people told me that <laughs> <laughs> duck it can fuck it quite. yeah you could yeah uh, do Go people, duck people are like duck is delicious you eat other birds and I'm like yeah but we've been trained for the other birds yes I can't yeah. just just make a left turn and start eating a quail yeah and it's also like I'm not gonna eat a duck because it's like I read about ducks to my one-year-old for her bedtime stories. Yes. I'm not going to eat animals from her bedtime stories. Yeah, but this is probably a chicken bedtime story. No, you you almost never see a chicken bedtime story. Really? No. No. Full disclosure: I've had a quail egg. Interesting. What'd you think? What'd you think it of the damn quail like egg? egg? It tasted like an egg. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I I think that honestly, if we're going to talk about meats and all that and how horrible slaughterhouse, all that stuff, I get it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, nothing's worse than the egg. I mean, you're literally, you're Spring. eating an unborn baby and you, mm. and it's breakfast. Nothing is worse than the egg and people don't talk about it enough. People don't talk about it. They just scramble them. They just scramble them. It's yeah. brutal. Yeah. I mean, if you're eating a, a, a you know, an, an egg, I mean, I guess you would never put egg on a chicken. I guess like you would never get like a chicken cut and put an egg on it. If you did, you've eaten a whole family. Yeah. You're Jeffrey oh, yeah. Dahmer. Oh yeah. That's like the worst. It's like the mother and the kid. You may eat the mother and the kid. <sighs> but the egg is not a baby either yet until something happens no i think that that would go have gone on no, to hatch bro, is it no no no, no. are Please we wrong on that? that don't tell me that i'm wait, almost me, i mean wait, what you else all oh, right because the egg comes out right and then what happens if they you mean to tell me that we're just eating it quick enough that it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't turn into it. If you so leave that it. hen or whatever, the goose whatever that is if it sat on that just a few days longer that would have formed into a chicken how, what's the gestation period? It says most eggs sold commercially are not fertilized, but it does sound like a couple. Oh, of so those so there's dropping eggs no matter what. I was gonna, so, so there's no chance if I bought a carton of eggs and I forgot about it for three weeks and then I want to make an omelet, I could open. There's, uh, there's never be a, there'll never be a, a live chicken inside. Well, human error, maybe. Human, human error. error. It says most. So maybe a human. Most. So, so we want you to go right on the Hey Babe comments right now. Have you ever forgotten about your acorns and you went to go make an omelet and there was a live chicken in your fridge? If so, what did you do with it? Also, Joe's baby chicks. Uh, name another thing as cute and adorable as them. Name one. I'll wait. Uh, a puppy isn't even cute as cute as it when a chick is born. I when a chick is born that big and they just like... They're all like, their hair looks like they yeah. touched a light socket. Right. And they're just like looking around all frazzled so and gorgeous. and stuff. I would say the only thing as cute as maybe a baby chick are, are, are Asian babies. Yeah. Asian babies. The number one baby. The number one cutest it baby. Isn't. I understand why people adopt them left and right. I understand. I, I, lo I would love the opportunity to have an Asian baby. Couldn't agree more. They get away with anything. I, I say I throw in black and Asians. Okay. Black babies and Asian babies. I, you know what's tough? As a parent, you won't know if they're ugly till later because they all come out great. Yeah. I never seen. Uh, I've never seen an ugly black baby. I've never seen an ugly Asian baby. Well, but I see ugly Asian and black adults. But and, and, and 
Which is interesting. You know? What happens? You're not going to know. And imagine thinking for five, ten years that you have the most adorable kid. And, and then, then all of a sudden something happens and you're like, oh my oh God. God, it's a curse really. It, it is a curse, but I could, cause you do see quite a lot of ugly white babies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see white babies right out the, right out the cooch. They're, yeah. See. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. You, go, I, you don't come out and I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. You want to be like, yeah, I, I swear to God, my friend had just had a baby, a little baby boy. The baby looks like exactly to like a 40 year old Kramer. He looks like <laughs> what Kramer looked like in season three of Seinfeld. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Yeah. Um, Wait, okay, so let's get. You want to get back to Fuquet? I, I want to. I have so much going around in my head. I, I don't know how to process it. It's just so good to see you because mm. I I can't. It's unbelievable. Like we pimp showed me a, a video of um of a uh, um Mr. Beast, the big YouTuber, okay. who buried himself alive for forty eight hours, and it's like you buried yourself dead for eight weeks. Yeah. Try try sixty days. Try sixty days of in yeah. in the afterlife. But also, he was he a lot. He had what water and air. Yeah, he had water and air. You I were fully dead. dead. I was dead. <laughs> no, you were fully so what dead. did you What did you learn from death? Did you meet God? No. Did you get a haircut in the air? Happened. You didn't. Not real. Then. What? They cut my hair for the fun. Oh, they cut you. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I was going to say, and yeah. it did because it looks. It, I love your hair. Though, Thanks right? so much. I. I. Yeah. I, I mean. I, yeah. All right. How was DeRose's eulogy? I. I'm telling you, I went. I went dark. You didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, you got footage? Yeah. Well, you're not there? I thought it'd be disrespectful. I didn't yeah. want to. I heard there was complaints. Right. I heard there was complaints. Well, the bad news is DeRosa now, I know you never know, but DeRosa now has taken over Taste Buds. And DeRosa now does, he does Taste Buds <laughs> from Joey Rose's. It's actually, now it's, it's, he just calls it Taste Bud. Okay. It's just Taste he just Bud. argues with himself? Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe DeRosa's mental. Some is better than mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Joe, I heard he did at the funeral, I heard he did a pine versus an oak coffin. Yes, and, it, and, and, and people were, you know, livid with him. Um, but it, there's, it's interesting because people thought you got cremated too. There's somebody, at, we actually, somebody gave your family an urn. Yeah. So I don't know what ashes are in there. I have no idea what's in there, but we watched as someone gave your That's family. That's wild. So it's weird. But you I, were buried, you said. I think I had like a, they try to do that. I'm, I'm a little bit like, a, what's his name, that they tore a statue down. Columbus? No, no, bad guy, more recent. Uh, dictator. Uh, Stalin, overseas. Hitler, uh, mustache, Hitler. No, 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 no. Uh, Stalin. No, the most recent guy. Gaddafi. No, no. Twenty years later. Vladimir uh, Putin. No, no. He they they took Bad him down. Guys. They took him down. They pulled him down with the ropes in the Middle East. They killed him, I think, too, and dragged him through the through the through the woods. Isn't that Gaddafi? No, the man, Saddam Hussein. That's it. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Name this episode Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Shout out Saddam Hussein. Shout out. Uh, did you if you're watching? Him? And we and we we we, we, we don't we, think we don't you know are. if you are because this is what I was gonna say. He yep. had all those doubles, those body doubles. Mm -hmm. So when he leaves the premises of a place, there was like eight Saddam Husseins, and they all got into different vehicles. Right. We did a little experiment like that. So maybe they were trying to pull us fast when they handed people the urn. Did they you didn't see want Saddam Hussein in the afterlife? No, I'm telling you, I went dark. You don't. You didn't. Wow. Maybe you were in purgatory. Is yeah. that possible? He didn't go. You didn't go to heaven or hell. And that is now only one person came to me. Who in the in the six, in the eight weeks one person? Who was it? Kane Tanaka. <laughs> Kane Tanaka because I think she oversees something down there. Kane Tanaka. Does, She's yeah. like the gate, like the, 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 the gatekeeper. Oh, you went down down there. Well, oh, you, I don't know. <laughs> did you that tell? Was subconscious. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Did you? Did you see? Did you tell Kane Tanaka that we, I don't know if we discovered this in the eight weeks you were dead or not, but there is an older person than Kane Tanaka? Yeah, she told me, fuck, yeah, well, how old is that person now? They're like 119 or 120. Well, Kane, Kane Tanaka was 116, right. She said, fuck, fuck 120 year old bitch. That's what she said to wow. me. Wow, yeah. interesting. Yeah. With a, yeah, I mean, Kane, Kane Tanaka, we haven't spoken about here. I will say one thing we did do to observe your death and honor you is in this last eight weeks, we never started the episode with a song. We never talked about Kane Tanaka. We never did any of the things that you and I used to do. We didn't We didn't do any of that. We did keep 100% of the ad money, yeah. but we didn't do... <laughs> Imagine living double the expectation. <laughs> that's fucked up. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. like that's double. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So they must have intermittent fasted. How did you find Fouquet? And how good is a potato croquette? Okay. Please. So 
I want to yes. So a potato croquette, a potato croquette. Yeah. Is I personally think the best appetizer item you can get. Wow. Bar none. Wow. And if you have a problem with that, take it up with Joe DeRosa's new show, Taste Bud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I, I, a potato croquette is amazing. So how I got in, the two-part question is, for Quetz is I said, let's get French food. They, our neighbors, immediately said, I found the best French food in, because a lot of times what you hear is about is very pretentious French food, small portions, yeah. overpriced, blah, blah, blah. For Quetz was none of this. Okay. For Quetz made it a point to give you in what they call American-sized portions of great French cuisine made by a French chef, so French that I actually accidentally booked myself in Paris. Right. So I, they came out, by the way, the French onion soup that I had, yeah. which was just called onion soup there, the onion soup that I had is- <laughs> Was it really just called onion swear soup? Swear to God. Yeah, because they, okay. they felt it was you know okay. derivative. Okay. So, so that was the best French onion soup I have ever had in my entire life, so much to the point where I offered my neighbors who one who one is gluten free? I said you have to. I know it's very weird to try a soup. I said you have to try the soup. Who'd you tell? I, you told that to the Lebanese gluten free guy who insists on driving. Yes. Okay. And 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 so and so I said you and Jasmine. She was like, you can't offer people soup. It's disgusting. I said literally. Oh, no, you didn't offer them soup from your bowl. From my bowl. I said oh, you have that's to. A, that's a faux quoi. If it's a, a yeah, faux quoi. But I did it. Nobody wanted it. But it was so good. I couldn't get an out. Nobody, nobody wanted it. Nobody <laughs> wanted it. Yeah. I literally in the middle of a French restaurant picked up the crockett they gave you a real crockett yeah and shout out david shout out david and and they gave you a real it's a, i think it's a crock a crockwit a crockwit it? no it's a crock it's a crock yeah. is it a crockett it's a crockett it's a crockett it's a crock pot yeah isn't it a crock maybe pot? it's a crock pot i thought it said crockett crockett but i picked it up it's a crock pot is it a crockett Am I wrong? It was a bowl with cheese melted on the outside of it. Is it? Is Why it do a, people say it's a crock of shit? <laughs> is that a crock pot full of shit? Is yeah. that what that means? What does crock mean? <laughs> what is crock? Yeah, a crock, crock of a, shit. Crock of somebody crock you should a dial rock. So, somebody should give that to somebody for Christmas. Take a shit in your crocks. And yeah, they're give you a crock of yeah, shit. Yeah, crock of shit. Rocket money burning up the all your bills. Uh, rocket money burning up the accounts you forgot about. Rocket right. money, formerly known as what? True bill. True bill. True bill. Which we was liked the, it when it was true bill. Love true we buffalo love bill. It when it's when rocket, rocket money. money. It's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. If you're going to get canceled, do it with Rocket Money. Help them cancel. <laughs> I threw it in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Three things canceled to me. What? Three things. I accidentally had two Hulu accounts. Didn't realize that. I had... I had you're a bought, hooligan. I was a hooligan. I accidentally <laughs> bought... I accidentally bought... Um, Apple games. Whoa. Five bucks a month, like a long time ago. I forgot about it. I, was, I paid for it for a year and a half without ever using it. True Bill, uh, sorry, Rocket Money comes in and he saves you money. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. That's you true. You just find the subscription, you press cancel, it's great. They'll find them and they'll quickly and easily identify the subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for them. 3 million and people have used Rocket Money. Uh, it's amazing. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. That's rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. What is it? Rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. R.I.P. Shecky Beagleman. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of words to say to you. Please. Make ship happen. Yeah, ship station. Ship station, baby. If you got an e-commerce business, if you have an upstart, Anything. you're launching something and you want to ship stuff, this is all you need. It yeah. aggregates all the methods. It tells you what is the cheapest. It can it can bake, basically have, you have everything channeling through one thing yeah. on all your different platforms. And it doesn't matter whether you got a side hustle or a giant warehouse, ShipStation is for you. They got the best rates in the industry and they just got even better, up to 86% off USPS and UPS rates. It's not a question of if you should switch to ShipStation, it's a question of why haven't you already? Yeah, when are you going to do when it? Are you gonna do even it? now, with the, after the holidays, with the returns, God. late deliveries, all that stuff, God. you're going to feel stuck if that's what you're doing. You're going to feel stuck if that's what you're doing. <laughs> Ship Station, what we love about it is over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business. Biz. Woo! 
grow your e-commerce biz with ShipStation, 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Okay, you works with Amazon, Whoa, Etsy, girl. eBay. Okay, mm -hmm. working what with else? All, work, Shopify. I'm working with, I'm working Shopify. with all y'all. Yeah. Okay. Make the new year your best year and grow your business with ShipStation. Use promo code HEYBABE today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. 60 that days. That's how long I was dead. That's it. <laughs> ShipStation.com. Promo code HEYBABE. Okay. That's it, baby. Better help. Love better help. We use it. You and I both use it. Uh, we've been using it for years now. Um, we know so many people that used it, and it literally, if you, mental health is a is a crisis yes. that's going through the world right now, and BetterHelp helps you deal with that mental health crisis. Guidance counselors that get matched up to you. You can do it from the comfort of your own home, on the internet, on Zoom. You don't have to go to a brick and mortar therapist and talk to someone, yeah. you know, in the flesh. Did you say guidance counselors? Guidance counselor and therapist, I meant to say. Guid yeah, okay, therapist. Yeah, yeah guidance, yeah, yeah. Gu Why did I say guidance counselor? I don't counselors? know. I don't know. <laughs> That's not what happens yeah, there. Guidance what counselors, you're not a kid trying to get into a college. Yeah, I don't know why I said guidance <laughs> counselors. I meant therapist. When you're at your best, you can do great things. Yes. But sometimes yeah. life gets you bogged down. You might feel overwhelmed, uh, like you're not showing up in the way that you need to, okay? Right. Working with the therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you, yes. okay? Thank because you. when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you, it's okay? It's convenient, flexible, affordable, just like Sal, and yes. entirely <laughs> online if you're thinking of ever giving <laughs> therapy an option you haven't this is a great way to start better help is a good option yes uh, you fill out a brief questionnaire you get matched with a licensed yeah. therapist and you could switch therapists anytime for no additional charge if you want to live yeah. a more empowered life who does not therapy can get you there visit betterhelp.com slash hey babe today to get 10 percent off that's big the first month that's better help help.com slash hey babe okay but I took the bowl yeah. and I drank from at it. At the table. On a, at, on a at Thursday a night at dine. 7 p.m. Wow. Slurped it out. It was so good. <laughs> With, like, yeah. You, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who does it? Who's like, yeah. Yeah. do you go and you want to yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With a waiter, the waiter come up. He's like, oh, monsieur, you love it, the soup. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He called everybody. By the way, I and, I, and, and listen, I don't fault for Quetz for doing this because they, they, it is a French establishment. I know for a fact, and it, it is okay. I know for a fact. A fact. A fact. A fact. And again, I don't want to describe. Go to this restaurant. This restaurant is amazing. I know for a fact our waiter was putting on a French accent and was no. not actually French. <laughs> no. I fucking know no it because he looked familiar. <laughs> and Jasmine said he used to go to the gym in Bay Ridge. So there's no, no way some French guy who no. works at Fouquet's was going to the gym in oh. Bay Ridge. Jasmine was like, he doesn't have a French accent. Well, he probably did what uh, that c councilman did and lied on his res. How crazy. Crazy is that guy? Yeah, That's yeah. why. So, so you came a lot. Okay, so it's you, all the news right now. I got. I just before I got here, I went through the app. Yeah, the news well, app. You had to. Because, did you see the latest? Yeah, that he said that he's. What did he? He said he, he said went to Harvard. Died in nine eleven. But she died That's, of cancer. Five yes, he said ago. his mom no. died in nine eleven. Yeah. Wait, how do you? Wait a minute. How do you say that your mom died when she's still alive? For secret. For fifteen years after that. It's crazy. Oh, this is crazy. And then he pushed back in the beginning. He's like, I, I, I could explain everything. But it was just like, oh, you didn't go to that school. Now it's like... What, 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 what the, what, his name is George Santos, is it? Yeah, is it George Santos? And <laughs> So what can they do now? Could they revoke his... Well, he is the elected official in, the, in New York, I think. He is, the, he is elected already. It's not like he's running. I, he I believe, is the... I believe he was elected. Like, he is the guy. He's the personification of a crock of shit. Yes, he is a crock of shit. <laughs> George Santos, if you don't know this story, lied on his resume about, allegedly, <laughs> lied on his resume about all types of things, going to Harvard, um, what, uh, what law firm he worked for, his mom dying in 9-11, and he is the now elected official. Penis girth. Penis girth. I heard that. He in lied small, about- Smaller circles he did. Yeah. Which, by the way, is a girthy cock what you ladies and guys want? I don't think so. I think no. you want long and slender. Yeah. Over girth. You want a you want a, a penis that's been intermittent fasting. That's what you want. Yeah. There you go. Next taste buds. That's that's it. Taste <laughs> taste bud. Um, George Santos. This is George Santos. He's 34. He doesn't look great. He looks like an old. He's 34. He looks like an old Dominican woman. Yeah. And he is 34 year old man. He looks like Cheech Marin. Yeah. He doesn't <laughs> look from great here anyway. I don't have my glasses well, on. Well, the thing is, you know, when you're when you're harboring all those is that, lies. Is that bold on top? I can't see. Is that a bold bold on top? It's like the comb over presidential oh, hair. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. 
Um, so by the way, love your New Balances. Thanks. Um, I, I got New Balance on too. Oh wow! But you're not a high top New Balance guy. I love a high top. They're not common. That's, yeah, I love it's that. It's from uh, Amy Lee uh, Diore, whatever. A L D. You know what I'm saying? Amy Leon Dior. Oh, I like those. Yes. Where did you find those? I got them. Um, That's a very old school shoe right there. Yeah, yeah. I I got them on. You know what? You ready for a little trick? Please. Are you ready? I didn't do it with this one, mm. but I've done it with multiple clothing items and shoes. And I know people might say you're don't do that, but I'm. It's just listen. It's not only about saving money, but it's actually sometimes these things are more comfortable. Can I guess what you did? Go ahead. Wait, wait, so, no, you threw me on the last thing. Sometimes they're more comfortable. I, what do you think I did? Something suspect? It's you said you suspect, do with shoes nothing, and clothes. It's just a, I would call it, it's a, um, it's a, uh, uh, it's not. It, it, hack? It's a hack. It's a life hack. It's a life hack. Okay, so tell me, tell me just the, the synopsis what you do. So these sneakers I didn't do it with. <laughs> okay. These sneakers I just went and ordered regular. But I'm saying what I would do, I guess not no, so much with like a name brand, but for example, I saw these uh, boots like a like a boot, but it's also like a sneaker, like a fun casual boot. And I saw Rob Gronkowski looks like a pump, feels like, like a, a sneaker. You know what that is? Um, That's some women he, women's heels or something. Yeah, easy, it, easy, easy, air, easy, easy spirit, easy spirit, easy. Because oh, the women are playing actually, basketball in heels. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Shout you, out Brittany Griner. Shout out Brittany Griner, um, aka Drake. You. So might, when is she coming home? I mean, that's tough. We got to get her home. I got news for you, Sal. In those eight weeks, she came home. I don't believe home. you. I don't believe she you. She came home. Did she really? She came home. She literally came home. Wow. Yep. We traded well, her then, for we traded yeah. her for the merchant of death. Okay. From Russia. And he he also he also went home. Okay. He's he's, he's, he's in Russia. Yeah. And now it's it's very interesting. They're like, oh, the war has changed and Ukraine was winning, and now Russia's beating the shit out of them, and nobody can understand why. But the merchant of death, okay. some of us think, has something to do with okay. it. Okay. Okay. But but we traded the merchant of death <sighs> for Brittany Griner. Oh, I didn't know when she was She's home. home. Great, great, great. She's home. Um do what about the queen do you know the queen did the Queen of England die before you died? She's died. She died. Queen of England died, oh. but she must have died before he died, right? Maybe yeah. I just didn't read the news yeah. then. Maybe okay. I just didn't read the news. You didn't read then. the news. Maybe no, I didn't no, read no, the news. No, no, no. After he passed, she passed. after he passed. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Queen of England died before he passed. Oh, he was I alive. Maybe still I didn't the read the news died. then. But maybe sometimes, you know what? It took weeks to bury her. I yeah, I might not oh, have read the news. I did take weeks to bury her. It was crazy. It is weird though. Sal does feel like a Jesus figure. I mean, yeah. This is Jesus. I didn't know Jesus was going to come back with New Balances. But I like it. I mean, I'll take whatever you want to call me these days. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, no. So what, what was I just saying? What you were telling me about what you do with the shoes. So here's the hat. Or the clothes. So what I do is, let's say I saw these, these boot shoes that actually Rob Gunkrowski was doing a commercial for. And I was like, I like those. But the, when I went online to get them, I'm forgetting the company, they were like $400. And I was like, I'm not going to do $400. I'm already you know, upset. My, my friend died. I, I'm not going to do $400. So what I did was, is I took the name of that shoe company, which again, I'm blanking on, maybe with the V, and I put it in the search engine on Amazon. All shoes, just like that one that are knockoffs, most of them I think from China, our knockoffs pop up, 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 80 bucks. <laughs> you buy that shoe, they look identical. I got a pair. They are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had for not a, a third of the price. It's a huge thing. It's a huge market. What, what, do you remember the website you went to? They do it with sneakers, obviously. No, I just went on Amazon. Oh, oh, I, oh I did it oh. on the Amazon app. Because there's an actual, there's actual websites in China that you can go on because they, they counterfeit sneakers. Right. right? And, I, and I, when I got obsessive about it, I ordered a bunch of counterfeit sneakers to compare them to my sneakers. Oh, mm. my God. Just to see, well, the counterfeit sneakers weren't that much money. No, of course right. not. But right. what's yeah. the difference? Well, no, then China has your address. That's why I was afraid. Uh, oh, well, okay. Yeah, well, China well, believes they think I'm dead. dead. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the CCP say, does watch his podcast, though. <laughs> <laughs> let's, say, <laughs> let's say I ordered like five or six pair. Uh, two, joke. Terrible. Yeah. Two, uh, you know, I, 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 maybe. Uh, yeah, but you see if, it, uh, if you had them side by side. Two, couldn't tell if you were an expert. Really? And so I was like, wow, just a crapshoot. But yeah, two, I would, and that was actually both di uh, like, it was disappointing and encouraging in a little bit of a way. Cause I was like, well, F that. Like I paid a lot of money, you know, money for these. But like then the other side of it was like, well, all right, I'll, I'll keep these other ones. And now, so, but I'm sure they weren't made with the same materials. But you're saying that as comfortable. They're as, uh, not that I've tried on the Gronkowski shoe. I'm sure it's very comfortable. But I felt like the shoe that I got for 70 bucks off Amazon is comfortable, affordable. 
and I'm going to continue to look for items that I like that are expensive and put them in the search engine in Amazon and, and, and buy them from the Chinese one. children. Order them from Chinese children. Right, yeah, okay. That's what I think the right thing to do is. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys I judge mean, counterfeit? Do you judge that at all? If you found out your friend had fake shoes on and was wearing them earnestly. Uh, uh, all right. Do I judge someone who's telling me something's real when it's fake? Yeah. That's a bit of a lie. That's a little bit of a George Santos to me. We'll call but, now for but now. I mean, if I'm someone has counterfeit shoes, I could care less. My favorite counterfeit shoe story is Jim Norton in one of his comedy specials wore fake Yeezys the whole time. And he they and were he terrible. They're like falling apart. You can see. But like did he? Through. Was he open about that, or yeah, what? Did he think a, they were real no, Yeezys? It was a bit. It was a bit. That's it great. A bit. That's By the way, we should probably fill Sal in. With what? On Kanye. Oh, that's something you missed. He's dead. <laughs> no, he's, he's not president. Dead. He is missing Kanye. Mm -hmm. No, he's president. He's not president. <laughs> he has come out. As a bastion for Jewish culture. Close. Okay. Kanye has come out as a Nazi. Kanye's a Nazi. West? Kanye. West? Kanye Yay? West. Yay. Yay has come out as a Nazi. And even worse news, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, no more. No. Nope. No. No more. No more. Oh, that's that's sad. Yeah, yeah, but but what happened? <sighs> what happened? I think what happened was with well with Kanye coming out as a Nazi. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, at least he still has Balenciaga, Adidas, all that stuff. Just to wait, he, a Nazi? He's a full Nazi. Kanye came out as a full Nazi on Alex Jones in a ski mask. He went on Alex Jones in a ski mask. <laughs> in a ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Yeah. Yeah, it is because it, people were and, and people were saying they were when all this is happening, we were getting so many messages. They were like, we just wish, hey, babe, would respond to this. We just wish, hey, babe, would respond to this. Missed the old days. And I said, I, I, there's nothing I can do. So what's he doing now, Kanye? He's missing. Actually, he genuinely is truly missing. Is he really missing? It's been a no, week. He, no, he really actually is. Isn't that wild? Like, <laughs> but he's missing to everyone. Yeah, like the media's he's missing, not, missing. His, his management came out and said, "We have no idea where Kanye is." Nobody actually knows where Kanye is, but the media doesn't S care. The media doesn't care. So, do we think that Kanye is just off, isolated because he's feeling some heat, or do we think, God forbid, you know, I don't. No one wants I, to see. No one wants to see a tragedy, despite being a Nazi. But do do we think something happened? He's I, not. I think we need he, Greta Thunberg to step in and help to him find out. him. I personally think it's our job here at the Hey Babe Podcast to find Kanye. I think we, if Kanye's missing, we Do need we to find. Do you want to list the listeners? Like, put out an APB. Listen, we want you here right now to listen to us and listen good. There's an APB out on black Kanye. Nazi in a ski mask. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, a black Nazi in a ski mask with a hundred million dollars, probably in cash. Balenciaga outfit and Yeezy shoes. He's probably in the Wyoming area. Yeah. He did text. Oh, he has another thing that you missed in the last in the last eight weeks. You ready? Should we tell him this one? Kanye out of the blue texted Shane Gillis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. No. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Kanye. Come on, that's a joke. That is not a joke. That is a joke. Kanye out of nowhere texted Shane Gillis about a week ago. Oh, no, boy, about four weeks ago. Do, I, do you yeah. actually really not know this? Get back on mic. No, get back on mic. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, I have so many questions. First okay. of all, how did you choose Faquet? <laughs> <No, okay. laughs> like, so they suggested it. They suggested it. Okay. Because I said French food, and they said we were thinking the same thing. And you know what it is? What's great about Faquet's, where it is? It's on Greenwich Street in New York City. Parking. You, we parked right in front of the restaurant. Oh, Thursday, 6.15. That's 15, how you do it. Right in front of the restaurant. Right in. Right in. You enjoyed the meal. Love the meal. Scuttle? Yeah. Up top. Up top, yeah. But, but Who pays? We split. split. Ski. Split ski. Two the, cards. The men split. Two cards. Did you talk about tip and match tip? Ma you have to. We match the tip identical. Okay. I, you didn't like say it and then put an extra five or something like that. No, I was gonna, but I didn't want to do that. Right. You know, but I, but I did tip the coat rack people five cash. coat rack, right? So <laughs> yeah, the, the coat check. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the people who were installing the coat rack. <laughs> yeah. So wait, okay, okay. Uh, so fine. we got an endive salad. Okay. Uh, 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 endive salad, great bread. Um. Then you ready for this? They had a salad with the dressing was mustard ice cream. 
Oh, so they're doing things over there. Mustard ice cream. They're, they're in the game over there. They're playing for keeps. Then I said to my friend who is gluten-free, who ordered the salad with mustard ice cream, I said, doesn't the mustard ice cream have gluten? He said, I never thought about it. Uh, but I guess it wouldn't. How is that car ride What home? do we got? Okay. Okay, so we're going to... We will get to the end. What is the name of the hotel? That the, the, restaurant the restaurant is in the hotel. The restaurant is on the first floor of the hotel Fouquet. It's Fouquet's Hotel and then Fouquet's Brasieri. Is it the old Tribeca Grand? Might be. Okay. It's on Greenwich. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. How is this possible? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry. What happened there? Look. I don't is that even. Real? I don't. Is that real? I think so. What the fuck? He's <laughs> jumping over. So there's a Chinese man who's ripped, holding dumbbells, jumping over boxes of Girl Scout cookies, and then it looks like it, and then jumping over them. The jumping over them backwards. His crotch clears six feet easily. 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 The only way that he could have accomplished this feat: intermittent fasting. That's, That's the only That's way. Right. This, I, I, I don't even understand what I'm looking at. I, I thought it was fake. This is, uh, yeah, he's, um, do you think you could ever get, would you ever even want to put in the time to get that ripped? No. I, you're, so you look at a guy's body like that and you say, I'm fine not, I'm fine never looking that way. Fine. Fine. Yeah, that's too much. Right. It's too much dedication to one thing. You don't want to do it. Oh, that's another thing. Liver King, who we would talk about all the time. We would, pat, you know, li the Liver King on Instagram. We love the Liver King. You know, he would eat the organs of, of uh, animals, livers of animals I don't know. for like protein. I, we, don't know. I thought we talked about Liver King. Didn't we talk about I Liver King? Been, I've been dead You've been dead. weeks. So Liver King came out and said that he's actually on steroids. Oh, I know this guy. Does he have beard and long yes, hair? Yes, yeah. That's oh, it. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he yeah. was saying that, I just want to be honest with you guys, I'm on steroids. And we were like, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, guys, sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look at how, I mean, so Liver King. Um, so, you should really invest probably in crypto now too. Oh, crypto. Remember how we Going had Going through the roof. <laughs> Going through the roof. I missed out on the boom. You missed out on the boom. Okay. You missed out on the crypto boom. <laughs> we, it, it. Who's, that's like, who's leading that charge? The guy with that, that FTX guy? FTX. Then? Now's the time to get involved. Okay. FTX is actually, they sponsor the show now. So okay. it's all good. It's all in the up Where's and up. Where's your crypto at? My Are crypto, I would say my crypto is probably, it's in the coffin next to you. The crypto is <laughs> dead and buried. No. It is. I haven't looked. Wait, what do you mean? It's just no. another, another crash happened? Yeah, crypto. Yeah, it's. I, it seems over. It seems everyone's like over. Ar everyone's getting arrested. All the NFT people are starting to get arrested. NFT people are getting I, arrested. I watched, I watched the the Bitcoin episode of you guys first talking about it. Yeah. Sal had called it from the very <laughs> What I say? Store. Before my death. So, like, so you want me to send you money for an invisible thing that could just disappear? Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. yeah. And Most people exactly didn't get involved. Mo the NFTs, I didn't get involved. Wait, the, wait, wait. The whole, the, the whole thing is truly, 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 truly folded? So like Justin Bieber got an NFT for $6 million or whatever, and now it's $300. Right. Yeah. Right. No. Those, remember the bored apes? We looked at them on an yeah, episode of Hayden. Yeah, yeah. All those are worthless. Well, they're well, they were worthless. <laughs> like, yeah. But the thing is, the celebrities are now starting to get collected and arrested because they got paid in crypto to promote crypto. Well, what's wrong with that? If I, I don't know, that's I'm going to get paid in money to promote anything. I mean, I don't know. That's a new thing. I don't know. I don't really understand what's going to happen. Yeah, well, also, no one knows who created it. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like so. Wait, so what about all the blockchain and this is tied to me and no one else has it and all those things are useful, but the people at the top are like pirates. Imagine a pirate made crypto. You're telling me every single every single crypto company? No, not every single one, but it's really it's. But the bottom is falling out, and you it looks like there's going to be no recovering. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know if there's going to be. So if you talk to certain people, um, if you talk to certain people in the crypto digital space, a shout out to Tank Sinatra, they will tell you that certain experts, they will tell you that. Oh God, Sal, Tank Sinatra, the influencer on social media, is giving him a free trip to Costa Rica. What do you think of that? Who? Me. Me and, and, and Jazz, we got, we got a free trip to Costa Rica. All we got to do is all we got to do is. I'm turning my... over in my grave. What do you wait, think? Wait, Should we go? Wait, wait, for what reason? Just because he got an opportunity to bring people to Costa Rica, 
for like a f- three, four day stay or f- at, at this new resort in Costa Rica. And he was like, oh, it's all paid for flight hotel. He has to do the influencing from he's got to do it. And he's like, oh, but you don't have to do but any of it. Do memes? Yes, he does. Memes. So then what? what, 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 what well, it's, it's the company Whalebone. We know Whalebone. Oh, I know Whalebone. So it's through actually, Whalebone. I, I, shout out Whalebone. I wear, their, Whalebone. wear their products. They actually I, love Whalebone. I'm so busy and I've died. But that's the they've, issue. They've, they asked me to make a They asked me to make a hat with them, like to design a hat. Are yes. you gonna do it? I, yeah, I, I, I was like, "Are you kidding me? Dream come true. I would love to do something like you that." You should design it. This like, happened six months ago. I haven't gotten back to them yet. You should design it I mean, like I the hat that we wore in Hey Babe. I know that. that. I, should, <laughs> I should make that hat better. Better. Oh, so, so it's a so so, whale bone is sending tanks. They to actually, Costa Rica. they actually are getting involved with comics too. They throw like yes. comedy nights or something up. Yeah, in the I did the show once. Okay, <laughs> but here's the thing with Costa Rica. I is and I, I just want to talk it out with I've you. I've been there. I don't want to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that is that what part of Costa Rica? I have no idea. They just said There's Costa Rica. Parts. They said a, a new resort. And the thing, the reason why I don't want to go is this. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. I don't want to go because any place that's tropical and beautiful like that, which great, but it is just beach activities and hotel beach. I feel like I can do that here. I'm a history guy. I want to mm. go to a place that has a beach and all that fine, but then also has history and and things like, like Barcelona. I, Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona would be amazing. But I don't want to go to Costa Rica. Jasmine wants to. But I, I don't it's want to. It's into Nash. Do I, you, think it's do, a dire- I think it's a direct flight. They said it's four and a half hours. Yeah. Did you, what, is, what was your experience in Costa Rica? Okay, I went maybe, I want to say nine, nine years ago or something like that. Okay. I went with a good group, solid okay. group. Okay. Um, we originally were going to be in a condo from some guy got a timeshare and we got to a condo. Okay. We got there and the condo was cool, but it was off the beaten path. So we switched to a hotel right on the beach side there. And I had a nice time there. Okay. I had, it, I, we, went, we went to the mountains one day and did like a, a hike to the waterfalls and it was pretty dope. I, I, did I ever tell you this? And at the top of the mountain, they, they have this like cement water slide that goes all the way back down. So you don't walk back down, but then it's cutting everyone's up. But then A it, cement water slide? Yeah, it's weird. It, it's like I think it's cement. It's but it's like smooth. Doesn't it and hurt? Water f- flowing down it. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't cement. I don't know. I remember it being cement. I, I have pictures of it. But anyway, I'm going down this fucking water slide. Right? I swear to you, we got, I, I took surf lessons. Okay. We walked around the town. It was nice, you know. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the water wasn't crystal blue or anything, though. It was like regular, like here water. Interesting. I mean, it might have been cleaner, but it wasn't that crystal blue stuff. Anyway, I went down that slide. It's like an eight-minute slide back down. Like it took, and you're flying down the slide. Yeah, you know, you're going at a decent clip. Yeah, but it, it's it, like twisty. It's 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 not like loop to loop. It's more more like you know, it's it's really more straightforward. Right. But there's some curves, but it's not like it, it's it's as much to get back down as it is for like it's not really like an entertainment thing. But right. but. I'm I'm about 25 percent of the way down, and a goddamn snake! I I turn and I see a snake in the water in the slide behind me, like six seven feet behind me. A snake, bro! Like a big snake? Uh, no, nah, like, like a snake like that. Oh my and, god! Oh my god! I don't give a shit. And in Costa Rica, I don't know who this guy is. Holy I don't know who shit. Keeps, I don't know who the snake keeps time with. And we're going down. And I'm screaming. I'm like, it's a fucking snake! It's a fucking snake behind me! I can't. And I'm I'm looking back. I'm sliding through. I shoot out into the pool, and the snake. They have it on video. The snake shoots right out after me. I ran and jumped out of the fucking lake, like the little like pond in the in the front. A snake rode the whole thing down with me. And could have easily bitten you, done anything. A wild snake. I feel like snake. it could have. I feel like a, a Costa Rican free bird snake. Just out in the open. I, just hopped on the thing. I turned at one point. I like curved and I saw a fucking snake. And I was like, I, 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 you can't move. No. You, you, you're going. You're, you're the torque. The centrifugal. I don't know. Whatever that thing yeah, is. Yeah, you can't move. Yeah. No, I was just, you're on the ride with the snake. And man. that snake was coming after you. Uh, I, I think he was, I don't know if he really wanted anything to do with me, but he was going down and he had no choice either. So moral of the story, don't go to Costa Rica. I would go, not go on a slide. Okay. Don't go on a, but speak, speaking of slides. Yeah. You know what I got my kids for Christmas? Which, by the way, you missed Christmas. Happy belated Christmas. Oh, you were dead for Christmas. Shit. You missed Christmas. Yeah. Merry Santa's Christmas. still good. Everything's good. All right. But... I got my kids, it's called, this, it's called the stair slide. You literally, it's pieces of a slide, okay? I could show it to you, okay. I could show it to you. It's pieces of a slide that you connect to the stairs and then the kids slide down the stairs. It is an absolute 
broken bone waiting to happen. Yeah, I was like, how's that even? No, literally, I... Sl- we used to go down like a cardboard box down the steps. No, 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 no. T.T. Jerry slid down it, slid through the door. Slid down it, slid <laughs> through... Like, like Home Alone. Yeah, yeah. Slid, <laughs> it's not the front door. Slid through the door. T.T. Jerry's like... <laughs> it literally is the stair slide. If you, I mean, my kids love it. That is the only way they go down the stairs. But I'm gonna show this thing to you. It, Have it, you taken it? Yes. No. Well, it says 175 pound. Well, wow. right. no. Intermittent fasting hasn't got me a there. Couple more yet. days. I went from 251 to 219. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. In, in three four months. Um. God bless. But this stair slide is if you get this for your kids. Have 911 on speed dial. My kids are flying down this thing every day. And I'm like, how is this product legal? How but is they, it legal? but well, because they say, you know, it's the warnings all over, like, this is used at your own risk, use at your own risk, <laughs> use at your own risk. Because they know that kids are going to fucking crush themselves. And with they this. still make it. They still make it. But there's got to be, there's going to be some like, on, like, there's going to be videos popping up of this thing on online oh, yeah. of old people. Well, there was a guy when I looked on how to connect it, there was a guy on YouTube. He's like, do not buy this product. <laughs> Every single one of my kids bleeds after they get on this goddamn slide. And, and uh, but yeah. That was your Lebanese neighbor? Or? That was, yeah. No. So let me tell you. So the, the, th- Speaking of Bored Apes. I got a whole bunch up here still. They have a sculpture. Shane and Kanye, I still need They have a $100,000 sculpture on the first floor of Fouquet's of an ape with a hat on that has the American flag. It actually looks like an ape that might be special needs, but it's a $100,000 sculpture. Is that a shot at Americans? Might be. Uh, like a, a special needs ape with an yeah. American ass. With the biggest, fattest ass. It might be like, <laughs> look at these fat ass Americans coming in here right, and eating our right, food. Right, right. Yeah. So, um, but I would say the, uh, our neighbors got a cheeseburger. It was like a, if, if a French, sh- if freaking Ratatouille made a Big Mac. It was the best burger I've ever had in my life. Really? Yes. Now, now you have my interest. I think it's odd to go to a French restaurant and then order a burger, though. But the reason why she did it, because we said the same thing, we shit on her right away. We're like, you're, you know, we just really were like, you piece dumb of, asshole piece of piece shit. Of shit. Yeah. This is why people don't like your country. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the Middle East. Yeah. Like, we really went in. Yeah. We were like, Saddam should have gotten you. Right. You scumbag, asshole. Even the French waiter came out and started slapping her around a Wait, little bit. Right. I, I, that's what yeah. I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you tasted it and you were like, we get it. Well, no, she said, she said, the reason why I got a cheeseburger in a French restaurant is because guess what it comes with? French Fries. Well, they call them just fries. Exactly. Because they call it just soup. Yeah. How do you order French toast at a French restaurant then? Because you're just going to order toast. Well, I was going to say that. They just came out. The bread basket was French toast. When they came out with the bread, it was just. If you want French toast, though, and you say, I want toast, then they bring you toast. That must yeah. be a real difficult thing. It, it was very. No, that's what. I mean, they literally, all the, when we got to the restaurant, I mean, we had, you know, dinner reservations at 630. It was just bottles of syrup and toast in the basket because they, they, their toast is always French. It's just mm. always French, French toast. Are they the first people to kiss with tongue? Why do they get the name? They are. Do you know the very first, the very first time I tongue kissed a girl? I'm talking about the number one. The very first time you Frenched someone? The very first time I Frenched someone in sixth grade. I, I'm talking about the first, not this, not one of the first, the first time okay. I got mononucleosis. Not the first time. <laughs> that really set the tone for your yeah. life. <laughs> yeah. I got Epstein-Barr virus, which I've carried with me. I will carry with me for the rest You've of my life. You've never kissed another person. I have, I have got Epstein-Barr virus. The, yeah, that doesn't go away. The very and it's made me chronically fatigued for upwards of twenty eight years. Out the bitch who did it. Out, yeah. well, out the guy. Out yeah. the guy. Yeah, out the guy. No, her name was. Uh, uh, I think her name was Alyssa. Alyssa was her name. I don't remember what her last well, name she's was. She's watching. Al- and we know but that we you, know are. She you are. She gave me mono. I got an enlarged spleen and I had to miss three weeks of school. Oh my I, God. The very, then the very first time I had sex, this bitch. the very first time I had sex, I did not use a condom and I did not pull out and I had a pregnancy scare. Those are the first, my first wow. encounters with love. Wow. You right? Yeah. And when you give oral, you get a sore throat. And every time I do oral, I get a sore throat. Wow. <laughs> Somebody put a sexual hex on you. Yeah. A but sex, the- if you will. That's a set, yeah. yeah. And actually, the best part of Fouquet's, the reason why you absolutely need to go to Fouquet's, yeah. this, this has, has been, been Hey Babe. babe.